Good. So we do distraction as well. Um, and obviously your accessory glides would be a big thing. So obviously you have the radial ulnar joint, radial humeral joint, the elbow, and ulnar humeral joint. Okay. So just be aware to assess those. So the head of the radius, see is that gliding. And um, what would that affect if the person has a problem with the radial humeral joint? Formation, exactly. So that's that's one everyone forgets about. But yeah, work on your distraction. See, see how the distraction is, but also your accessory glides. Working on the MCL, medial collateral ligament, 30 degrees as we talked about, just like the knee, uh, and then obviously lateral side. So remember what we done for the knee because you're on the muscle belly. What tape do you use? Elastic. That's it. So you anchor here or anchor here, uh, and then. Your tape will start from inside across to return and outside, so X marks on that joint line. So make sure you have to find your joint line on your elbow. Okay, MCL. Uh, you can just for pure convenience, you know, I'd start my elastic tape and I will keep coming down and do a crisscross, just purely rather than just cut the tape. Okay, uh, just like we've done the knee. You put your check reins on, so obviously you have your anchor, anchor. So you want muscle belly to muscle belly. So that's roughly where, and you're going to have your check grain. So you measure that, find the distance. Same again, just about five. For a guy, you have to say maybe three for a girl in terms of just size of their elbow. Once you get that, take it off. And then once you have your anchor tanker, find the position that they can go back into. So. If Dave was here and he goes, right, let's try and go into extension, he goes, oh, pain there, well, then I'll block it, go back off it, and then put that tape down to stop him from going into hyperextension. Volleyball. This would be a classic volleyball one because players are trying to get the ball, hyperextend, and we need to stop him from going into that hyperextension. But you'd also have to have this on for people with MCL and LCL as well. Um, remember when we're doing the MCL, LCL, just give a little bit of a kink of the tape just to reinforce the tape. So if I was to come from, and I want to get that joint line across, we'd probably go from this anchor, come around, and just put that little kink in the tape, around that joint, and just back up and cut it there, where you had your elastic anchor, and vice versa then, coming from the top, and down around, put the little kink in the tape, And then just make sure you're getting the joint line and wrap it around it just to reinforce it. You probably do three of them, and then you can do one down the side. That'd be loads. One down the side is enough here in terms of the, the size of the joint. And that's it. And then re-anchor with your elastic. Elastic. That's it. All done.